Okay, let's take a look at Chapter 7, Lesson 2. Today we're going to learn about order of operations. And with order of operations, um, there's some rules that we need to know, that we need to follow for order of operations. And some of you may have heard the um, saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's because order of operations gives us a set of rules to follow, okay? And we might, might call it PEMDAS too, okay? Order of operations has a set of rules for us to follow. And if we take a look at example one, we're going to learn why we need to follow some certain rules. So let's take a look. It says the table shows the number of calories burned in one minute for two different activities. Nathan swims for four minutes and then runs for eight minutes. How many calories has Nathan burned in all? So he's swimming, he's running 12 calories for swimming, 10 for running, okay? It says evaluate, the, evaluate this expression, 12 times four because he calories, 12, four minutes, okay, is how long he swam, plus 10 times eight, 10 calories for running for, and he ran for eight minutes. Okay, so we have 12 times 4 plus 10 times 8. Well, 12 times 4, we're going to multiply 12 times 4, and that's 48. Okay, so we get the 48. Then we're going to add to that 10 times 8. 10 times 8 is 80. So now we're going to have 48 plus 80. Well, if we stack that and add it, we don't want to make simple mistakes, we get 128. So Nathan burned 128 calories. And that was swimming and running combined, okay? Now, order of operations is a set of rules to follow when there's more than one operation used in an expression. So we used multiplication and addition in this expression, right? Okay, so order of operations is this set of rules where we say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Perform the operations in parentheses is what we do first. The P is for parentheses, okay? Then we find the value of the exponents. E is exponents. Then we multiply and divide in order from left to right. So we have multiply, divide. And if division is first, we divide first, okay? Then we add and subtract in order from left to right. Again, here's our AS. So notice how up here we said P-E-M-D-A-S. Well, we have the same down here, right? P-E-M-D-A-S. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Now, I'm going to also show you in, in, your, uh, in your resource guide on page 13, we have order of operations where it also gives us that please excuse my dear Aunt Sally parentheses exponents multiply divide add subtract okay it says perform operations in parentheses evaluate numbers with exponents multiply or divide from left to right add or subtract from left to right all right so knowing this we are going to solve some problems let's take a look Parentheses at the top of the next page includes brackets as well as braces. Perform operations inside these parentheses pr first, then perform operations inside the bra brackets, and finally perform operations in the braces. So we're going to go parentheses, out to the brackets, out to the braces, which are like little wings, okay? So the parentheses are what we're used to seeing. We do those first, then the brackets, then the braces. Work our way from the inside to the outside. So example two here says evaluate 20 minus, the start of a bracket, 4 plus, uh, sorry, the start of a brace, 4 plus a bracket, 4 plus parentheses, 10 divided by 2, and then we have the end of the parentheses, brackets, braces. Okay. So if we're going to write the expression, we say 20 minus, and we keep everything the same, okay? But we're going to work our way 
all the way, we're going to just rewrite these numbers. We're going to work our way all the way to the parentheses. We're going to start with 10 divided by 2. We're going to say, what's 10 divided by 2 and solve that first? Well, 10 divided by 2, if we count up by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then we're done with the parentheses, so notice those went away. Now we have our brackets. And in the brackets, we have the 4 plus the 5 we solved, right? 4 plus 5 is what we're going to solve next, and that's 9. Okay, and then we're done with the brackets. The brackets and the, and the parentheses then disappear, and we're left with the braces. And in the braces, we have 4 plus 9 that we're going to solve. So 4 plus 9 is 13. Then, once we've solved the braces, we can get rid of those, and we're left with what was out in front, the 20 minus 13. 20 minus 13 is 7. So solving this whole equation, we get 7. But notice the 20 was a... 20 minus the 20 subtract all of this we did at the very end because please excuse my dear Aunt Sally said we have to solve everything in parentheses first and all of this stuff was all of the parentheses that we had to do before we could do the subtraction. Let's take a look at another one. It says evaluate braces 20 plus bracket parentheses 2 times 4 squared or two, 4 to the second parentheses divided by 8 and then we have the end of our brackets and braces. So we're going to write the expression out. We're going to just put down whatever they um, left blanks for. So 20 then we have the plus 2 to the f times 4 to the second power divided by 8. Now we have to figure out where to start. Well please excuse my dear Aunt Sally says parentheses. So let's work our way to the inside of the parentheses. And what we're going to do is in this inside parentheses we have 2 times 4 squared. Well because we have a multiplication with, a, with an exponent, we have to do the exponent then inside that parentheses first. So 4 squared 4 squared, remember, is really 4 times 4. It's not 4 times 2. It's 4 times itself, right? The exponent tells us how many times to multiply the base by itself. So 4 times 4, which would be 16. So we're going to take 2 times 16. That's now what's in our inside parentheses. 2 times 16 is 32. Then we're going to move to our brackets because we're done with the inside parentheses. Now we're going to solve the brackets. 32 divided by 8 is what we're going to solve next, and that's 4. Then we're going to move out to our braces. And we have 28 plus 4 in the braces, which is 32. Now, looking at this, I'm not quite sure why they put the braces on there because they could have left them off. And we still would have added at the very end anyway, but they put them on there. So 32 is our answer. Let's take a look up at the next page. We have 5 times 92 minus 18. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, add or subtract, whichever comes first. So we have multiplication parentheses, subtraction. For number two, because we have those parentheses, we have to solve that first. So we have to solve 92 minus 18. Well, I got to regroup, right? So 12 minus 8 would be 4. 8 minus 1 would be 7. Then that's what's in parentheses, 74. Now I can take 5 times 74 to solve. And I'm going to stack it, big number on top and show my work, show my thinking. 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2, 36, 37. Okay, so this expression is 370. Let's take a look at number 3. Let me refocus this, sorry about that. 
Okay, number three. 12 plus 4 squared minus 8. 12 plus 4 squared minus 8. So we have 12 plus parentheses 4 squared, or I'm sorry, minus 11. I apologize. So 12 plus 4 squared minus 11. So parentheses we solve first, and in that parentheses an, is an exponent. So 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. So now we have 12 plus 16 minus 11. And we're going to work our way right across the problem from left to right because we only have addition and subtraction and we do whichever one we see first in the problem. So 12 plus 16, if I solve that, that's 28. 28 minus 11 then is 17. Okay. Let's look at number 4. 15 minus 5 times 9 times 3 plus 3. Ooh, okay. Well, we have lots of parentheses and brackets. So let's solve each set of parentheses, and then we're going to figure out where to go next. Okay, so we have parentheses. 15 minus 5, that's 10, right? Now, that we're going to multiply something over here in brackets. Well, we have the parentheses inside, so 9 times 3 is 27. Then we add the 3. That's still in brackets. Okay, so 9 times 3 was 27 plus the 3. Well, we still have to solve now what's in brackets before we can multiply. So 27 plus 3 is 30. Then we're going to say 10 times 30. Remember our mental math strategy? We can go 1 times 3 is 3 and tack on those two zeros. Or you could do the turtle head math, okay, and set it up that way. You're going to get the same answer. Look at number 5, 58 minus 6 times 7. Well, here we have subtraction and multiplication. Subtraction should be last, multiplication first. So we have to multiply first. 6 times 7 is 42, and then we're going to say 58 minus 42. Well, 58 minus 42, 8 minus 2 is 6, 5 minus 4 is 1. We're going to get 16. Let's look at number 6. 55 minus 5 squared times 3 minus 5 squared. Okay, so we got to figure out what 5 squared is because that's an exponent, right? Okay, we're going to solve inside this in inner parentheses first. Well, 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25, right? So in this parentheses, we're going to have 25 times 3. Then we're going to subtract another 5 squared, which is 25, and that will be in the brackets. Okay, then we're going to take the outside 55 minus that. So, let's figure out our inner parentheses. 25 times 3, that's 75. Okay, I'm thinking of quarters, 25, 50, 75. I'm going to subtract 25 because that's what will be in my brackets. 20, 75 minus 25 is 50. Then that just leaves me with the outside. 55 minus 50 is 5. Notice how I worked from my inside of my equation out, right? Solving each part. And I'm showing my work. I'm showing my thinking, okay? Don't try and do these problems without showing thinking. Look at number 7. 7 times 10 plus 7 times 30. Well, 7 times 10, okay, do the multiplying first before the adding. Multiplying before adding. So I'm going to do each part. 7 times 10 is 70. 3 times 30 is 90. Add the two together. So we have 70 plus 90. And I am going to get 160. Oh, I noticed I wasn't even putting my answers back up here. Okay, let's... Fill in our answers quick for this page. Sorry about that. And let's go on to another one. We have number 8, 2 squared plus all of this. 1 times 5 minus 2 times 3, all in parentheses, brackets, braces. So let's take a look. Start from the inside, right? Solve this inner parentheses. We have 3. So we're going to have then 1 times 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. That's going to be in brackets. Okay, now 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to multiply that by a 3 
to get what's in the braces. And 2 squared plus that is on the outside. So we still need to solve the 3 times 3, which is 9. Then we're going to add on 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 2 times itself. So 2 times 2, which is 4. So here we're going to add 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. So this whole numerical expression should be equal to 13. Then let's take a look at number 9. Number 9 says 2 times 4 minus 6 divided by 2 times 3. Well, we start with the very inside, 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Then we're going to say 4 minus 3, because that's the brackets, is 1. Then we're going to take the braces, the 2 times 1, and then multiply that by 3 at the end. So 2 times 1 is 2, times 3, the outside 3, is 6. So all of this was just equal to 6, okay? What I'd like us to do today is I want you to try one problem on your own, um, I think. Yeah, let's try one. Let's go to page 491, and on page 491, you're going to do number one, okay? Solve that, put your name on it, and turn it in when you're finished.